Yeah, but also it says car keys. What has she got a lovely pair of Bristols? But why is that? Like, is Bristol City a hilly place? <laughs> Lovely friends, how are you doing today? Great, us too, thanks very much for asking. Brought John along with me this week because we're gonna do a little quiz from issue three of my Love British Lifestyle magazine. You made some bold claims last time. Do you remember what those claims are? No, but I feel like I'm gonna regret it. Last time you claimed to be an expert, not at royal knowledge, oh, but at British <laughs> street knowledge. <laughs> But like, that's like, how many ounces do you need to go and blow up your neighbor's car? <laughs> well, this is along those lines. Today's quiz is how well do you know your cockney rhyming slang? Oh, this I feel like I'm gonna smash. Yeah, I feel like if you need to use the millionaire phone a friend, just call your dad. Yeah, because he will know every single one. Unfortunately, it's 25 past 11 at night in the UK, so I probably won't. I added some because they had a list yeah. And yeah. I had to look up the answers. Okay. In my research looking up these answers, I found some more that I wanted to quiz you on, but also I wanted to ask you why this is rhyming slang. Okay. okay. So are they going to be modern rhyming slang or OG rhyming slang? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Sure. Okay. I like it when you okay. do that, by the way. I don't know why. I think I'm picturing other things. We'll start off easy. Okay. Apples and pears. Stairs. Yeah. Also, tables and chairs is stairs. I don't think I've ever heard them called the table and chairs. Oh, cool. Well, I mean, it was listed somewhere. Oh, wow. Adam and Eve. Can't believe. Yeah. I keep wanting to hear you use them in a sentence. First one would be, I'm going up the apple and pears. Yeah. I feel like I mimic my dad when I'm doing this. I'm going up the apple and pears. Can you Adam and Eve it? A bubble bath. Are you having a bubble bath? Are you having a laugh? <laughs> good. So far, so good. Barnet Fair. Hair. Yeah. Comb in my Barnet Fair. Which is like, that's ridiculous because it takes longer to say Barnet Fair than it does hair. I find that with most Cockney rhyming slang, yeah. it's shorter to say the actual word. Right. Unless you like cut it down and instead of saying going up the stairs, you say like, I'm going up the apples or whatever. Yeah, which I think they probably do. Cut the rhyming bit out. Yes. Just yes. use the first bit. Yeah, right. I feel like that's how Cockney slang works. Yeah. Baked bean. Screen. No idea. Queen. Uh -huh. Whoa, I didn't know that one. I was offended that they would equate the queen with baked beans. I mean, if anybody looks more like a baked bean, it's the guy who's in charge of your country. I know. Jam jar. Car. Mm -hmm. I'm getting him a jam jar. This one may be slightly newer. Not okay. anything that I'd heard before. Cheesy quaver. Oh, do me a favor. Do yeah. me a cheesy quaver. <laughs> Sorry, is, it, is that Steve Lovell or John Lovell that I'm talking oh. to? <laughs> Round the houses. See, now that, I don't know if that's rhyming slang because. I mean, because... I feel like it's a bit forced. Trousers, it says. No way, I did not know that. And it was on several different websites, confirmed. Wow. Confirmed wow. Cockney rhyming slang. Well, I've learned another one. Bees and honey. Money? Yeah. Can you let me some bees and honey? Barney Rubble. Trouble. That's also my dad's nickname because Rubble sounds like Lovell. Dad has a Barney Rubble tattoo on his arm. Aww. So maybe there's trouble in there somewhere as well. But you, when you're getting in some Barney Rubble, you're getting in trouble. Here's a couple that I don't know why they're rhyming slang. Okay. Maybe it's just the pronunciation. Tommy Trinder. Going on a bender. Window. Yeah, a lot of people would say yeah. window. That's what I thought it must be. Yeah. Macaroni. Pony. Yeah, but also it says car keys. I guess macaroni would actually be money. When somebody lends you a pony, they're lending you a certain amount of money, and I can't remember how yeah. much money that yeah. is. Yeah, how much is it? Is it 500? No, way less. 50. 25. Why would 25 pounds be a pony? I have no idea. The next one is Bristol City. Is that rude? It oh. says it's part of the female anatomy. Oh, yes, because we call them Bristols. What, she got a lovely pair of Bristols? But why is that? Like, is Bristol City a hilly place? Like, I don't think so, but Bristol City sounds like titty. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. That's where the yeah. rhyme comes in. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. listed that way online. Oh, she yeah. She said boobs. Oh, yeah. A raspberry tipple. Is a part of the Bristol. Yeah, right. But okay, yeah. so that one's like more pleasant. But then a raspberry yeah. tart. Is a fart? Yeah. 
Huh, because when you blow a raspberry, it sounds like it. So that brings me to another thing. I found in my research that some of these, I feel like have translated to us in the States somehow. When you blow a raspberry, some people call it blowing a raspberry. I call it a Zerbert. I grew up watching the Cosby show. Right. You say blowing a raspberry, but I guess it comes from your raspberry tart. I don't know. Maybe. Another one we have, so Hank Marvin. It's when you're starving. Yes, but we say, I'm starving like Marvin. Oh. I don't know who Hank Marvin is. No idea. He must have been hungry a lot of the time. And then brass tacks. When something's brass tacks, it means it's really cold. I'm sure that's what Here that means. Here it says facts. Maybe, not. Maybe I'm getting it wrong, but I feel like that's... Yeah. That's, that's, no, it wasn't that. a rude thing. But I feel like we use the same thing, brass tacks. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Oh, okay. Didn't know that one. Are there any big ones you feel like I missed? Well, like one of the popular ones that still gets used a lot today is when someone goes for a ruby. Oh, a curry? Yeah, a ruby murray. Yeah. That's really it. I don't use rhyming slang because I'm not a 70-year-old Londoner. But if you heard it and it was something that you hadn't heard before, would you, from context clues, be able to make it out? Do you yeah, I think so. Oh, also, giraffe. When someone's having a giraffe instead of a bubble bath. Okay. My dad would say giraffe over bubble bath. Are there any of these that you think your dad would say something different? Not different. He'd definitely say some of them. Dog and bone, maybe. Yeah. When you're on the dog and bone. Bone. Yeah. People from where I'm from don't really use it. You're right. So it's more my dad's side of the family will, will have used it. So that's where I've picked it up from. But that's because of geographically where he's from though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I grew up. Um, a lot further west of London and, and more south. Yeah, it's not really something that I've experienced. Well, thanks for helping me out with these. Thanks. Do you feel like you've learned? You've had a bit of a learning night tonight. I feel like I've been talking to Rob Beckett the whole evening. I mean, my teeth are not as white or as wide. Well, if you like this video, leave a little like, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>